Now, coil wind is something that I've complained about and talked about a lot on Linus Tech Tips in general, but I don't think I've ever actually demonstrated what it is. So this is a graphics card. This is a 7970 reference card. And my observation with the reference cards for 7970 has been that there's a fair amount of coil wind. So I've had a lot of people kind of say, well, tuck it up, princess. Um, so I, but I think I should leave it to individual users to decide if it's something that will bother them or not. Bear in mind, guys, this card is on a test bench. It's not installed in a case right now. So the case will help to reduce some of this noise. And it's particularly offensive if you do have a high sensitivity to high pitched noises. Whereas if you don't have that sensitivity, then coil wine is a lot less bothersome. Once you have it, there's really not a lot you can do about it. Some combinations of power supplies can help. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. Like some power supplies will react worse with the power delivery system on a particular video card and cause it to whine more or less. Um, but that's pretty much all there is to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna position the graphics card itself uh, about as far away from the microphone as my voice is now. So I'm gonna turn my mic around. Very ghetto solution for doing that. Okay. Sorry about that guys, so I'm going to position the mic right there and I'm going to launch a game. In this case, it's not a particularly demand demanding game. This is Halo 1. See, there you go. There's some Halo 1. And I'm going to let you guys listen to the noise and you all can decide what you think of it. So this is why I don't like coil wine. It's particularly bothersome in applications where it fine tunes its whininess to whatever you're doing. So check this out. So you can see it actually corresponds to my movement. So there you go, guys. That's coil wine. That's what it sounds like. There's not a whole lot you can do about it. Uh, unless it's really, really bad, uh, you usually won't get an RMA for it. So um, just try and find a card that you know doesn't really whine if you think that that kind of thing will bother you. Thanks for checking out this episode of Linus Tech Tips, and don't forget to subscribe.